Hello everyone, this is Amal Al Abdullah, science teacher from Al Ittihad National Private School. Today we'll talk about PeerDeck. PeerDeck is an educational technology that helps the teachers to create an interactive slides where students can work on the slide during the presentation. First of all, you have to sign in with your Gmail account. Then we have to go to create a lesson. To create a lesson, the first thing we have to do is to add on the peer deck slides. How to do that? We have to go to add-ons, then open peer deck add-on. So it will appear at the side of the presentation. Now we will start to prepare our slides. First, we will add the first title, which usually is the title of the presentation. So you can add the title that you want. After that, we will start to add the features that we have it on our presentation. Example, I want to ask students that have multiple choice. So I will ask them to choose the correct answer. So the, I want to add the choices. I will go to this button where it have the choice. Then I can add my choices. Example, I can add option A, option B, and I will add option C. So you can add the choices that you want that is related to the question. You can add more choices or you can remove from the choices yet that you have. I'll update the slide now. This slide is an interactive slide where students can work on. Okay, the next one example, I want to add a map where students can drag uh, a flag or they can drag a pointer to a country that I'm asked them about. So first of all, example, insert image. I will search for an image. Um, I will search for a map example. Any map that you want, you can choose any map. I'll choose this one, insert. So here I answered the map. So maybe you can ask them about uh, where did uh, they travel in their vacation. So I will go to draggable. And here the pointer that the students will use, it can be dot, it can be flag. Uh, you can choose the shape that you want. Example, I will use a flag. I'll change the color. Um, I'll add two flags. Maybe the, the question has more than one answer. And you can change the color. Here, you, this, these are the flags. You can make them bigger. You can make them smaller. So I'll keep them this size. Update the slides. Okay, now this is an interactive slide where students can work. Okay, I will show you one more option where uh, if you go to template, you can find that there are already ready templates, which is related to the beginning of the lesson, during the lesson, end of the lesson, a critical thinking, social, and also there are templates that are related to science or math, where you can check them. Example, um, and at the end of the lesson, I want to ask the students about their feeling or if they agree or how they uh, how did they find this session example okay i choose this one how well did you like this lesson thumb up thumb down okay so these are the where students will drag a point to their answers of course all the slides you are able to mod edit them or modify them okay i will show you uh, from the templates that are ready and uh, that are related to science example if you go you can find that are related to graph uh, related to venn diagram where students are able to write so there are many ideas where you can take from these templates okay example i'm done from my presentation now what i will do i want to present it Okay, I have the class, live class, I want to present it. So I will go to start lesson. Okay, my session is live, so I will go to instructor-based activity. There is a link, joinpd.com. You have to give it to the students and give them the code. 
to join the lesson or another way where you can give a student a link so give a student a link the link will be copied you can post it for them and then the students will enter now i'll show the difference between the uh, version of the teacher and the version of the students okay so this is the students the students answer they will have each one of them will have like a, a avatar at the side okay and this is the student the teacher so the teacher have one student connected i will start the class this is the class this is the teacher's view okay i will start i want the student to choose the correct answer this is the student's view okay they have the answer i will choose the answer example c then in the teacher view the one out one of one responses so i can show the responses of the students example one student choose option c okay i move the slide to the next one okay here about the map okay i ask the students to drag the flag to the country that they want so this is the students view these are the map the map i will drag the flag here and then the other one here and in the teacher view i can see that there is a responses i can show the responses and i can see the responses and the students will be able to see the responses also we'll go to the next one which is how well did you like this lesson okay agree or disagree yes or no you can change all the uh, themes that you have you can edit them okay the students will take the pointer and they will point to where their answer is okay then in the students in the teacher view again show responses and we can see the response of the students Okay, I'm done with the lesson then I can look the screen so I don't want the students to change their answers and then I can end the lesson I can save it with the name that I want I can change the name example to lesson one and I can save it and end it and you will see where you want to save it and you can end the session one more option is that you are able to save it in your computer you will go to save download you can download it as powerpoint as pdf and you can send it to the student later